Lifeboats rescued just over 1,000 people in Irish coastal and inland waters last year, according to statistics released this week by the Royal National Lifeboats Institution. Inland Ennis Skilling came out as being the busiest of all the lifeboat stations, with Cork and Dublin Bay following. Sam McCreary, who recently stepped down as operations manager of the RNLI to take up the role of president of the organisation, says his crew launched 64 times, rescuing 82 people last year on Loch Earn. There were different ones from people being stuck in ice, actually frozen in the ice, to broken down boats, people who didn't know where they were. In fact, one uh, boat was 27 miles away from where it thought it was, and only the uh, Coast Guard were able to download a uh, locator on his iPhone could they find out exactly where he was. But it was a miserable night and it really was wild down on the broad lock. The lakeland is no more or any less dangerous than any other stretch of water. You know, we don't want to portray it as being a, a dangerous place, but accidents do happen and people do get into difficulties and we're there to save lives if we can, if, if possible, and to assist people who are in trouble, who feel they're in trouble anyway. The report states that there has been an 8% increase over 2009 in the number of people brought to safety. In Enniskillen, the introduction of new jet skis have helped greatly as they are now able to get in close to the islands. We've got two stations, one for each uh, lock. We've got a, an Atlantic 75 rib at each one of them, plus uh, RWC, our rescue watercraft, our jet skis. And they're specially equipped out to do search. And it's very good because in total we've got 54 miles from one end of the system to the other. Uh, over 150 islands and therefore with over a thousand miles of shoreline which has to be searched so the introduction of the RWCs we can get into shallow water round islands quickly very fast response because we do over 60 miles an hour to get to the location so they're very very useful we do carry out if anybody wants checks on boats life jacket checks all free of charge all to do is contact us and we'll arrange uh, for life jackets to be checked free of charge their boats to be checked out before the season started anything to help breakdowns. If you're interested in taking a safety course or you'd like to offer your services to the RNLI, they're looking to recruit more volunteers. All details can be found on their website. Ashlyn Hagen for Mana TV.